What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this exercise, we are going to create a drawing sheet and we are going to modify the view properties. And then after that, we are going to place a plan view and section view in our drawing sheet and specify some printing options for selected sheets and views. Okay, so let's get this thing started. So we are going to create a drawing sheet and modify its properties first. Okay, so to do this, so we are going to create the sheet. So it's either you go to the view tab and then after that you can select the sheet or you can just simply go to your project browser and then right click the sheets here and then select new sheet. Okay, so let's select this one and then after that we will be using here the title block A0. Okay, so that's the default title block loaded in this uh, project. So I select that one and then I'll just select here OK. And that's it. So you just created your uh, uh, title block. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate the ground floor here. So let me right click this and then I'm going to duplicate that. Uh, duplicate with detailing because I want to include also the annotation. So duplicate with detailing. Okay, so this is now the model and then let me change the name here. Okay, let's change that one as administration uh, building ground floor. Okay, because I only want to show the administration building ground floor. I don't want to insert the whole ground floor, only part. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to open again the sheets that I have created. And then I'm going to drag this inside. Okay, so let's drag and drop that. And there you go. And also you will notice as a new feature in Revit 2023, you will see that the view that we have inserted inside the sheet, the box there becomes blue. So it becomes blue indicating that this view is inside the sheet. Okay, so this is a new feature in 2023. You will not be able to see this in other views or uh, in other version. Okay, so now let's say, for example, I want to change the scale. So you can also go back to the ground floor or to the duplicated view, or you can just do that inside the sheet here. So to do that, you need to activate the viewport. So as you can see, if you click this, it tells you that that's a viewport. So let's, do, uh, so let's double click the viewport here. And there you go. So you are now inside the admin building ground floor view. So let's change the scale here. So view scale, let's change that one to 1 is to 50. And there you go. Okay. This is only the admin building that I would like to show. I do not want to show the upper portion there, only this one. So that's why what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click show crop region. Because currently it's turned off. You see the bulb, it's turned off. It's not like this. This bulb here is on. So this one is off. So that's why if I click this, it will show the crop region and turn on this crop view as well because this is also off. So by default, if I turn this on, this one will become activated as well. So let's do this. So let's click that. And as you can see, it's now both uh, on. You can turn it off individually. Like for example, I do not want to crop yet the view. I'm going to turn off first the crop view like this. So it's now turned off, but the uh, crop view here is the crop view region is turned on. So let's click this and let's modify the view. So I only want to show that part, this part here. Let me just tidy up like that. And if ever you have any annotations outside all over the place and you do not want that, you can also 
turn on here annotation crop. So you click that. So all the annotation outside this this dotted line here. If you click this, you can see now there's a dotted line. So that's the annotation uh, region. So any annotation that is outside this annotation uh, region will be hidden, okay? Or any annotation that touches this uh, annotation region will be hidden. Anyway, so after you set up now the view, so you can now turn on crop view. So let's click that. There you go, okay? And I do not want to have these grids here, so I'm going to hide these grids. So I click one grid right click and let's hide that category there you go so once you crop it so just right click and deactivate the view so you are now go back to uh, the sheet view okay so let us now click this and then you can drag that or you can use the arrow on your keyboard for the placement of your uh, model okay and this one, if you want to move your uh, title bar here, you can click that. And then you can just drag up or you can use the arrow on your keyboard as well. So if you want to resize this line here, you need to select the viewport. So when you click the viewport, you can see a blue dot there. So you can drag that to change the length of your title bar to tidy up it okay so now the next thing that i'm gonna do here is i'm going to place section views in our drawing sheet all right so let's do this i'm going to create another sheet so right click new sheet and this time let's create an a1 and then i'll select here okay Okay, and then for this one, let me go to the sheets here. I'm going to change the name of this. So right click, let's change the name of the sheet. I'm going to call this uh, sections and details. Then okay, that's it. So maybe this one, I'll change this as well. I'll change this to admin building. Okay, so now here on my section details, I'm going to drag the section that I have created in this view. Okay, so let me see my section here. This one, section two, just drag and drop. And let's say I'm going to put it here. Let me just adjust it. okay and then i'm going to insert the call out as well call out of section two so let me just drag and drop let me arrange it like that and like that okay so there you go. So if we are going to open the ground floor again, so you will now notice this one here, this section here already populated with details because we already inserted this section here, this section to inside the sheet. Okay, but if you haven't inserted your views here, like for example, I'm going to delete this one gonna delete this if you go back again to your ground floor you can see that this is empty your uh, section your section 2 this one the section 2 right okay so it's empty the reason why it's empty because you haven't inserted the view inside the sheet okay so that happens when you place your call out your elevation or your section so you will notice at first that the detail number or the sheet number is empty 
Why? Because you need to insert first the view that you have created inside the sheet. So that's why if I go back to my section and details and then I'll insert the call out of section 2, for example, here. And section 2, for example, I'm going to place it here. Okay. If I go back to the floor plan, so it's now populated. Okay. So this is, so meaning to say this section 2 can be found on uh, A102 detail number 2. So you can go to sheet 102 and then look for detail number 2, which is this one. So this is that one. And then this uh, call out here. So there's a call out. So you can find this view on A102 detail number 1, which is this one, the detail number 1. This is that call out. Okay, so now let's say, for example, you want to print to PDF your, your drawings. So what you can do, again, as a new feature in Revit 2023, there's already this tool here, PDF. Okay, you can't find this in other Revit version. So this is a new version. This is a new feature for Revit 2023. So it creates a PDF of sheets and views of your model. You can still print to PDF your sheets if you have installed a, a PDF uh, printer in your uh, Revit version, in your lower version. There's a lot of uh, PDF reader, nice PDF reader that you can download, like the cute PDF. Okay, so that's one of the best and you can also install uh, Bluebeam. Okay, but personally, I prefer cute PDF because that is free and it's really nice uh, PDF software. Okay, but for Revit 2023, you just need to click that icon. It's already built in. Okay, so let's click this. All right, and then after that, so you can select now what is the export range. So for this, you can select uh, selected views. So I will click that. And then you can click the drop down. As you can see, there's no other option here. So you can click that icon. Click that. And then maybe you, you, you want to create a new set here. Okay. So you can click that. And then you can name it like architectural sheets. Okay, and then what are the things that you want to print? So I want to print A101 and A102. Okay, and you can also specify here the print order and you can save the current set. So let's save that, that one. And then I'll just select here, select. You can specify the save here, the location, and then you can combine the PDF into a single PDF file or if you want you can just uncheck this one and you will be printing this A101, A102 separately. Okay, you can check that one if you want to combine and specify the name here. So what's the sheet size? So let's say uh, this will gonna be A101, whatever size is that. It's up to you and then color, high, Okay, and other options here. And then after that, just select your op, uh, export. So that's it. So let me just save this. Architecture. And then okay. So that's it. Okay, so basically that's how you uh, work with drawing sheets. <clears throat> So that's how you create a drawing sheet and modify its view properties like changing the scale and uh, modifying or cropping your, your view like what we did here. Okay, right. So it's now already printed. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and i will get back to you as soon as i can okay so this is now the sheets that i have printed okay so let us see how it looks like so it's now opening and there you go here's now the sheet
Okay. There you go. So this is our A101. Okay. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.